Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Spiritfarer. I've had a lot of frustration with the games I was playing in this, uh, in this streaming slot lately, and I figured, how about we take a break from some of the more action-y, adventure-y, frustrating kinds of games, and let's try one that's a bit more calmer. And that will also get let give me a chance to do some more practice with my uh, voice acting abilities, what little there are. So we'll give a go to Spirit Fair. I do know some about th some of this game. I've watched a little bit of people streaming it and playing through it, so I know some of what's coming. But they never went that far, and I never saw them finish it, so... After a point, I'll be seeing new stuff. But the beginning won't necessarily be a surprise to me. Still, I figure we'll give this one a go. And one thing that I have heard is that this game can be very emotional. I don't know if I'll be hit quite as hard in the emotions area of things, but we'll see what happens. Maybe it will affect me, maybe it won't. We'll give it a try and see how it goes. Feel free to join me. So let us begin. New game. The first one. Single player. There we go. Also, that is adorable. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? <laughs> I'm Charon. Spirit the Spirit Farer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave. But I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fair. Listen. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha, where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the get the quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Stella. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you.
Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you... Oh, 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 how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. Spirit. You are the new spirit farers, after all. Just one oh, thing. one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it. Farewell, then. And so we're left as just the two of us. Well, I guess we are the fairy for the dead. Okay, so E was action, space is jump, left, right, up, down. Oh, and down drops through. Okay, noted. Press space bar to jump, hold it to jump higher. Oh, hold L and... To, uh, hold W to uh, grab onto platforms, I think it said. Yep, there it is. Right here. Mm -hmm. Stella! Oh, it really is you! Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll have to find a lint roller then. <laughs> hmm. Ah, it might not be that obvious after all. Mm. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fairer. Mm. Oh, you are the one replacing Karam. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. Oh, funny how I used to be the one getting you out of your trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. Uh, see that boat over there? I do indeed. That is fairly large. <laughs> mm. That's the one. Mm. 
It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. Mm -hmm. I'll explain it all. Okay then. Oh jeez. Okay, I may have gone through that wrong. Uh Nope. Uh hmm. Oh wait, can I jump up here? There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh dear. Mm. Oh, wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm. Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. Hug, mood, food, give. Okay, hug it is. Oh, wait. Oh, it's that button. There you go. Mm. Mm. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Okay. Mm. Oh mm. no, what a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Oh, let me think. Mm -hmm. uh, there is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. Uh, you must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? <laughs> well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm. And you know me, I plan things meticulously. Mm. Very meticulously. Go open up that cabin, Stella. Mm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay. Press tab to review active requests. Set sail, Captain. Upgrades and shenanigans. And oh, there we have uh, controls. So left, right, up, down, jump, hold to glide, change menu tabs, interact, confirm. R is inventory, tab is requests, boat trajectory and clock, and music. Okay, so here we have the inventory. Okay. Okay. There's a bell there. Alright, let's head in. And the door's unlocked. I guess this is what I interact with. Okay. Thunderstorm. A little concerning. There's the ever door. Interesting that there's something there. And Albert's shipyard. Well, that's where we're gonna go. Stella, mm -hmm. as I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm -hmm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Charon, the Everdoll, the spirit bears, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm -hmm. 
truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Okay. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this mm. ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. I mean, I'm here. May as well. <laughs> I guess we just wait until there's a bite. That's how these fishing games usually work. Hold it to reel. And I got a herring. <laughs> wonder if I can cut down the largest tree in the forest with it. <laughs> At least it is nice and peaceful here. Well, it is a... I guess it's a decent boat. Pretty nice size to it. Oh! And I think we are just about where we're supposed to be. Oh, we can sit on there. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> and I think we've basically gotten here. Definitely looks like a shipyard. Albert's shipyard. Yep, this is the shipyard. There we are. <laughs> now, head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. <laughs> Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Alright, alright. Then I guess we just ride off on this boat. Okay. I guess that'll help us with wherever we end up having to go. <laughs> Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new spirit fearer? <laughs> well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. <laughs> Let me see what you have here. Yeah, nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. <laughs> see, Karen was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything, but the customer's always right. <laughs> so I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. <laughs> but don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this, uh, alone. <laughs> and let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here? Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality, but the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price you'll want to buy them almost immediately. <laughs> Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Sure, let's see about this. Oh, right, it's that button. Let's see, blueprint station. Beginner, hobbyist, craftsman, expert, and master. So, beginner will give us rest house, garden, field, and kitchen. That'll give us sawmill, loom, foundry, orchard, sheep corral, windmill, chicken coop lounge, crusher, smithy, cow stall, cellar. For boat size, we have the exploring krill is a small sized boat that will always get you where you want to go. The intrepid otter is a medium sized boat that will make you slip away in style. The adventurous manatee is a large sized boat that will drift you in and out of troubled waters. Dauntless Dolphin is a massive sized boat that cannot be beat, and the Brawlish Narwhal is a giant sized boat that fights the waves. So we're gonna want to eventually get to that, but we don't have whatever that currency is for that. As for boat improvements, mailbox to take time to write pen pals, icebreaker opens up a passage in the ice flow, Hermes Hymn, a figurehead of snakes intertwined, it makes the boat go 20% faster. Sounds useful. 
Time to rock destroyer, time to pulverize some rocks, and coral bouquet. A figurehead of beauty. Oh, there's more! Oh, I didn't realize there were more than five. Okay, there's always the flawless beluga, the silent orca, and the fearless whale. Okay, so in addition, we also have mist cleaner, gets any stain out. Moon solo, 60% faster. Sun ballad, praise the sun. Oh, God. Is this gonna be a freaking souls like? And that's it there. Okay. So, only thing we can get right now is this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and pleasure, I'm your guy. <laughs> Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Definitely something to keep an eye on. Now, let's get over to the boat and see if we can build it up a little bit. Oh, <laughs> finally. Good. Albert gave it to you for free. And he said he loaned this ship to you. Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Alright, let's see. Well, it looks like the junk pile is all we can choose, so... Are you sure you want to salvage this building? You'll get back 20 maple logs, 3 empty bottles, 2 old shoes, and an old carpet. Yep, that's what we need to do. Ah, oh, wonderful. You did a wonderful job, Stella. Or pressing that one button and all. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Unnecessary amenity. Oh. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. <laughs> alright, alright. I get it. So we've got a field. A little... With a little bit of water and care, your cereal seeds will grow up to plants in no time. Garden, the perfect place to nurture your veggie seeds into healthy greens. And kitchen, for all your cooking needs. I'll well, we make that later. Then we have the guest house. And then we have nothing we can build there. Okay, guest house it is. I like that we can put this anywhere we want. So, let's put this here for now. There you go. You've got your guest house. Oh, very nice. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. <laughs> nice work as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I'll remem but I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm -hmm. And you might have fished a few fishes already. I did. I have two. Trouble is I can't really eat an entire raw fish. Well, you are like a deer, reindeer, caribou, I don't know. Okay. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. Ironic, considering this is the land of spirits. Mm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen mm. aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. Mm. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm. There's only one way to get some. <sighs> I... Mm. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. 
So, there is no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But, you're here. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. It looks like you can walk in here, though there's not really much in here. Oh, not what I wanted. Oh, I can see the mood. Optimistic about her new journey and was recently hugged. Mood perk. Okay. It's ways to perk up the mood. But... Okay. So then we'll need to go somewhere on the map to do this. Found a location, we can explore, and I think I see what we need to do. Although it looks like... Crates! Sure, let's go take a look at these crates, and then we'll go to the Patch of Darkness. Just let time pass and all, as we travel. May as well do a little fishing as well. Why not catch more fish? We have the time. It's not like we can do anything else at the moment. <sighs> I will say, this is a nice, peaceful game. Probably good for streamers and the like, just want to relax and chat and such. Uh, oh, that wasn't a fish. And I know, I tend to do more of the interesting or adventuring games where there's a lot more happening, but... Eh. I want to try something a little more relaxing for once. See how this goes. Plus, as you can see, it'll give me a chance to practice doing voices, reading lines, and all that sort of stuff, which is the kind of thing that I tend to do. And I apologize if there end up being periods where I'm a little more quiet than normal, but I'm just trying to... I've never been the best at filling up the, filling up the gaps. I'm more of a listener than a talker. Once we get this one in, we should be arriving. Oh, yep, we're here. And, yep, there's the crate. Okay, got a bunch of things there. Hold S and press spacebar to dive. Okay, what do we got here? I got something. Quartz. Okay, at least we got something. Oh. And I can get some empty shells here. I guess, uh... I need to get the barnacles off the boat. That makes sense. Plus, who knows, it might be useful. Oh, no, that one's a muscle. Okay, good. Okay, that one's cured. And we can go for this one, too. And I think after we go to the other one, we'll probably end the episode, because it's not about long enough. A nice way to start. Learning the tutorial and everything that needs to happen there. Picking up various things in our inventory, which I really hope is, you know, not limited in what we can build or anything like that. Plus, hey, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to need all the fish and food and stuff that we can get. It's too dark to navigate, and it will be possible again at dawn. Really? Mm. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. Mm. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light, or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want, tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start again in the morning. Oh, and, uh, talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm. 
You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. As you say. And she's literally just sleeping standing up. Okay, then. So I guess we rest upstairs. Fair enough. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll rest in the next episode. This seems like it's telling me to pause right here and now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, we'll take a rest. We'll go to the next location I noted, get the things we need to build the kitchen, and see how much further we can go along in this. Till then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Stella and Daffodil. This has been a Let's Play of Spiritfarer, and I shall see you all next time.